And there were many, many tens of thousands of us here to say, to say it. Refugees are welcome! Yeah. Now today is a big day. There's all of you on the streets saying refugees welcome. And as a result of a Labour leadership election, politics is changing! But to focus on refugees, I've got three demands to make of David Cameron that I'll hope you'll join me in making. And the first one is a demand that I was able to make in the leader debates before the election. David Cameron, take part in the UN program for the most vulnerable refugees from Syria. The UN has asked you. And a second demand for David Cameron. Join the rest of Europe in a cooperative program to rehouse every refugee in Europe, taking, welcoming our fair share of the refugees in Europe. And thirdly, let's demand that refugees don't have to risk their lives, risk their children's lives, put themselves in the hands of smugglers, fight to get here. Let's have an orderly resettlement program for those who want to come to Europe. An orderly program. But of course today, as we're thinking about welcoming the people who are refugees, we also want to think about the fact that we don't want to make more people refugees. So I'd urge all of you, if your feet aren't too tired, if you can do it, think about going over to East London after this, or in the next couple of days. There's a big protest against the arms fair there. And let's say, no arms dealers in London! Because the last thing that this world needs is a world that's awash with weapons it does not need more weapons. It's not just stopping Trident nuclear weapons or stopping nuclear weapons. It's stopping pumping all weapons out into this dangerous world. And as many people have said before me, we know that military adventurism has failed. Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, the story goes on and on, the failures go on and on. We have to stop using military force in other countries. What we need to do is not disengage, but use every diplomatic sinew, every bit of energy, and work with countries in the region to create a lasting peace. So there's a lot for David Cameron to do there's a lot for governments to do, but ultimately, all of this is in your hands. Politics should be something we all do, not something that's done to us. You've shown that today and let's keep showing it! Thank you very much. It is really great excitement to enjoy.